At first, uh, I need to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Shuichi Suzuki, but um, everyone calls me Shu, so please call me Shu. And then um, I'm a Mercury Data Platform Engineer team, but um, do you know Mercury? Oh, you know, arigato, thank you. But then um, I am a first data engineer in uh, my company. And then um, I joined to the, the, my company last year, but then um, I'm very familiar with the data processing engine like uh, Apache Beam and Kafka, Spark, Hadoop. So at first, I have to introduce my <laughs> company. So Mercury is a CTC uh, marketplace app like uh, eBay, that are the user to enjoy buying or selling, selling. For example, they use the t-shirt and the CDs or some, some good things. And then our services are very uh, good growth uh, these days. This means that our log traffic is uh, more and more, so uh, my job is uh, harder and harder. And this is um, our uh, company profile. And then this, uh, America is our first uni uh, unicorn in Japan. And you have to hire the more and more software engineers. Now we try to the re-architecture of the, our service, America service, from the monolith to the mi uh, microservices, and then on-premise to the cloud. The motivation is here to have ownership to all developers and to develop and improve more rapidly. And then, of course, we are hiring a lot of software engineers, the newcomer. It is very difficult to keep the reliability on the monolith system. So we have to try to re-architecture to the microservice, microservice architecture. And at first, uh, Miracle Service uh, uh, API is a very simple because uh, we, uh, iOS or Android app call to the just one Miracle API and it's, it have uh, just one the big MySQL cluster. So at first we tried to the making the, the API gateway on the uh, GKE, Google Kubernetes Engine and proxy the all traffic to the, the Miracle API. On, on premise API. When I try to the new feature to the new function to the Miracle service, country making the new service on the GKE. And current architecture is a little bit uh, confused because of the old functions is uh, on the Miracle API, but the new new features uh, are. Uh, develop on the GKE, so uh, it is a little bit uh, difficult to develop that. Um, but finally, we try to the old uh, website and the old functions to the, the microservice platform. The changing the architecture of the service, we have to update the data pipeline. Uh, at first, we uh, I said. Um, the data pipeline is the moving data between the sources to the sink, and it requires a high throughput and high, uh, low latency, and with a uh, high ability and uh, scalability. And it is a very important to the, the growth of service uh, to send uh, all logs of the each microservice to the data warehouse for analytics and um, system monitoring. Before microservice architecture, as a pipeline was a very simple because um, source is a monolith. We have uh, just one raw format and then just one data source. So it is very easy to send the, the bat server using the FluentD, uh, upload the uh, all data to the BigQuery. It is very uh, easy and simple. But then after microservice architecture, it means that the, the, the data pipelines, the data sources become the multiple. So we have to adapt our pipeline to new microservice architecture.
so this is our technical challenges and uh, so handling the every more data from the uh, microservices <coughs> at least uh, API gateway request is a uh, 90k and more per sec second and of course that uh, we have to crack the logs from the, the all micro, uh, uh, microservices and uh, the, we have to keep the, the more flexibility of the, our data pipeline because uh, the, each microservice have their own schema to express their behaviors and uh, each microservice have their uh, own schema evolution because it is uh, independent uh, life cycles but we, we can't make a pipeline, a lot of the pipeline for uh, every microservice because the data platform team can't control the release cycle. So, and then our team is a very uh, few people, just uh, two members. So <laughs> it is impossible to make uh, the each, each uh, pipeline for every microservice. So uh, I, over, uh, we try to design them like this. At first, we decide the design guideline for the new uh, stream pipelines. Uh, at first, the split the log correction part and the data processing phase, like uh, handling a schema and then insert the BigQuery, because um, the design, uh, so because um, it's an important thing to keep the, the each pipeline the simple, <coughs> and then support uh, st uh, structured output with a schema evolution uh, because um, it is it is impossible to schema uh, data source for the uh, the BI or AI, and the high uh, and keeping the high performance system and. We have to use the GCP because um, our data source is uh, the GKE and uh, our data sync is the uh, BigQuery. So we can't uh, outside the, the processing outside the, the Google Cloud Platform. So we have to choose the, the services from the uh, Google Cloud Platform infrastructure. So we choose the, the, the PubSub and Dataflow and the Cloud Storage and the BigQuery. I think that this is very uh, common infrastructure, I, so I don't care about this. But uh, uh, almost the same uh, pattern of the Apache Kafka and the Apache Flink and I don't know the, uh, the object storage of the Apache context, but uh, we sometimes use a F3 on the AWS and a BigQuery. And then we have uh, three types of the me message queue. Uh, one is a, a we call the ramp. Uh, each microservice have own ramp traffic, uh, the, the topic for the, our pipeline. The service post the, the, the serialized product message with uh, of course the, the PubSub have our attributes at the string string map so append uh, the destination of the message and then data hub is uh, the, all the data, uh, all lamp messages go to the the data hub by aggregated the processing and data hub contains the all uh, same format of the Avro. And then we have uh, two types of the data hub. It is a raw da data hub, we call the D raw DH, and then um, structured data hub, a raw uh, structured DH. And uh, sometimes the, the stream processing uh, can't process successfully, so uh, we make the dead uh, data hub. It contains the uh, the dead letter. <laughs> Sometimes uh, dead letter have help 
help us to recover the, the data. And then we have a three types of storage. The data lakes, the data lake cover the all uh, data from the data, data hub as our files. Of course, we have a two types of data lake, uh, data hub. So we have a two types of data lake, a low and a structured. And then, of course, and, uh, it is a very useful uh, uh, and, uh, the data warehouse and the BigQuery. And the error message have to write some uh, past distant volume. So we make the data register like. It is almost the same uh, architecture of the data lake and the data uh, data data lake because um, it is an Avro files uh, object storage. And then <coughs> we have ETL processing using the Apache Beam and Avro. And uh, at first I I tried the Apache Beam button. It is the last session of the Beam Summit, so. I think you should know about the Apache Beams. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, because the, the Google Cloud data flow have no SDK for the, just the, the cloud data flow. So we have to use this SDK for, the, for writing the jobs. But uh, our team member prefer to write the SCAR about the Java, so we uh, use the uh, Spotify style. It's a very, very good uh, API for Apache Beam and the Cloud Data for by the Scala language. And then a Scala object is a very uh, much better than the handling, the writing the ETL jobs because uh, it is a, the correction handling. So scheme, uh, Scala is a very good to write the ETL job. And then we use that the, the one of the protocol. Uh, it's written the Avro. And why we choose the Avro? Uh, Avro is a very good for the ETL because um, we can write Avro to the GCS and the BigQuery. And then Avro contains the sch own schema, so we don't care about the, the schema handling on the GCS and, uh, and the Big, BigQuery. And data have Avro contain the, the metadata and the destination and the schema information and the content type and the data payload. Uh, this is uh, the schema of the data hub Avro. The metadata parts, UUID and timestamp, and the, the topic name of the ramp, and the content type and the user agent. User agent contains some the event. We, we have uh, the event program to send the user event, but uh, you use the user agent as uh, the, the version management of the, the event program. And the uh, service name and the log name is uh, the destination of the GCS and uh, the table name of the, on the BigQuery. And the BigQuery, com uh, and the the service name and log name is the key of the uh, getting the schema of the record. And payload is uh, the original payload of the protocol for converted message of the, the Avro. So I introduced the, the four kinds of the ETL processing. At first, we have to aggregate the data from the each ramp to the, the low data hub. It is uh, one of the map readiest job. At first, uh, reading records from the every ramp topics as uh, the map radius at the map phase as a stream. And the transform phase is uh, making the Data have read uh, data have our records from the each original protocol records, and uh, <coughs> we don't 
and change the payload just uh, handle as uh, the byte array as an input. And write our records to the uh, uh, low data hub or, or sometimes dead data hub, but uh, it is a latest phase of the map, map radius model. So all traffic, all records go to the but they low data hub. Secondly, we com I convert in the raw product to the, the abrogenic records to write the structure data hub, uh, data hub and the big query. So reading the abro records from the raw data hub, its payload is the original product message with the uh, the metadata, the destination information. So we fetch, I fetch the, the schema information from the registry and the formatting the generic Arbor records using the object contents files format. The object contents files format is the, the, the Arbor generic record with the, the schema information as a header. So converted record contains its own schema, foreign processing can use schema on read uh, strategies because um, every message have a schema and then records payload. And it is uh, almost the same to the, the structure uh, raw data hub part, uh, writing the covert Arbor records to the structure data hub or data data hub. So the structured data hub contains the Avro message. It is the, it with the, the own schema and the metadata. So we <coughs> we can easily to write the records to the GCS because an Apache Beam have a very good interface to write the Avro records to the GCS object using the Avro I/O and the Pyro. It is a very simple job, and then exactly the same to the structured data hub and uh, struct, structured data lake and raw data lake. Of course, then it is the same as uh, the data uh, lake because then um, reading the Arbor to write the Arbor files on GCS. It is the same. And the insert Avro records the BigQuery as a string is a very easy because an Avro have a, the own schema, so we can we can use the that schema to writing the BigQuery. Now converting Avro records to the BigQuery table row object using the the Avro own schema and then the metadata of the destination. It it is a directory. Uh, Table then, so insert to the table row object to the BigQuery as a string is easy using the uh, Beam BigQuery I/O with the dynamic destination API. So this is our uh, this is my conclusion of the this presentation. Um, thank you very much.